guess what? This is Maura. Maura is my second granddaughter, and she's the one visiting all the way from New Zealand. Say hello, Kiwi granddaughter. Hello, Kiwi granddaughter. Gonna say hi? So Maura, guess what we got today? What's this? We got a stitch fix. What do you think? Should we open it? Okay, so here's the box. I think I'm going to do a different video on Stitch Fix 101, so if you're curious to know what Stitch Fix is, I will have a description below. You can click to see, or I'll have a link to another video sort of giving you a basic overview of Stitch Fix. Anyway, Mary had a birthday last month, and she got a new toy from her brother, so we will be... Uh, there you go, Mary. You can open it. So let's check out this box. Ugh. There we go. That was close. Good thing there wasn't like a work standing right behind That's you. That's why I was opening it or uh, showing okay. it that way. All right. Let me get the sides. I think I can get the other side. All right. Let's see what's in here. Now, I asked Mitch for some work tops for work. I was going to wait until June to get this. And um, if you don't know what Poshmark is, you can click the link for that below too. But I sold a lot of things from my closet on Poshmark. So I thought, well, I would replace them with a Stitch Fix. So anyway. Hmm. Is it still Mitch? As always, you get... Uh, once again, they gave me an empty envelope. And everything that was supposed to be in the envelope is just loose in the box. We have the styling cards, which give you the items and ideas for how to style them. And my invoice. There you go, Mary. Have an invoice. You could pay it if you want. And um, note from the stylist. So let's see. It is Mitch. All right. Let's see what we got here. Hi, Monica. It is, a fa it is fabulous to be styling you as always. I did my best to keep prices on the lower end of the spectrum since, boy, do I know how those college costs can add up in a flash. I let him know Thomas was going to college. There is a reason I'm not studying for my PhD right now, and it has about five zeros on the end. My sympathies, Mitch, I understand. Since summer is on the way, I grabbed you some coral Bermuda shorts and a paper moon green pattern tank. I look perfect for the cruises to our private Caribbean island. We're all sure, we're all sure to make, we're all sure making in our sunniest dreams. For your 9 to 5 style, I went with the Q&A green polka dot top and yellow paper moon blouse. The teal bauble necklace is a lovely way to add a touch of glam to the office and maybe that next party started around the coffee pot. Actually, I work in a school, so, um, well, in the break room, maybe. Okay. <laughs> Have a fantastic time trying these, and I shall save a smile for your feedback. Much love, Mitch. All right, let's see what we got. I have never gotten jewelry from Stitch Fix, so we'll see. I'm going to save oh, that for last. Yeah, he sent me jewelry. And here's the return envelope to send back anything that you don't want. All right. There you go, Mary. All right, Mary. Let's see what we got. Ooh. Very Ooh. Cool. I, like, I like the colors. This is coral. Whatever. Okay, so I actually could really use some shorts. The only pair of shorts I have is a size 12, and these are 10s, which I'm down to. Um, I hope these fit. So, so many times it depends on the brand, but these look really, really nifty. They don't quite match my sweater. Let me tell you what it's like in New Jersey right now. All right, it's May, and it is probably in the 60s today, and it's going down to the 50s on Monday. Go figure. But it won't be like that for very long. Trust me. We're just having some weird global warming. All right. Ooh. 67 Ooh. and cloudy. All right. Yeah, I said 58, high 58 on Monday. 56. Oh, my yes. gosh. I love polka dots. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I love green. I love polka dots. And this is with the little sort of sleevettes on the end. It's enough to uh, cover undergarments, but also when that gets, it can get really, really hot toward the end of the school year in the classroom. So this is, I hope it fits. I hope it fits. Gosh, Mitch, 
you picked my colors. This feels really good too. Ooh, this feels, it's got that sort of synthetic-y feel, but that soft synthetic-y feel that falls really well. Okay, this might be a little too scoop-necked for me because I'm so high-waisted. Um, I can't wear anything too low because it's lower on me than on most people. But I like the color, so we'll try that. And here is the yellow. I love yellow. I love yellow and green. And that looks really nice, too. So, oh, I got to do the jewelry. I am not a big jewelry wearer, but I am open to giving it a try. Um, let's see. Here's the little, comes wrapped in its own little burrito. And let's see. Oh, it's sort of a um, turquoise color. Hmm. This is, this is different. Oh, Moose just came in from a walk. Don't let him hear the clothes. Let's see how that looks. That's kind of a nice looking sparkly. I am like a bird. I have pet birds and I rarely wear jewelry, but I always like to look at it in the mirror because shiny things, I sort of shiny, colorful things, I peck at them. I just love things like shiny. Ooh, shiny. I do. All right, let's try these on. Okay, it is the next day. Um, actually, it's the next evening, and I'm talking low because everybody's asleep in my house, and I'm taking the chance right now to shoot this try-on video. One thing that's kind of bizarre where I am right now, it is May, and it is freezing cold. So I have all these nice summery things to try on, and I'm freezing. But anyway, let me get to the try-on, and... Uh, Tell me what you think. Okay. Um, this top somewhat flattering because it, it drapes kind of nicely. I like that. Um, I like the fact that this particular top, the sleeve armholes aren't honking huge, which is happens with a lot of tops. Um, it's really nice. Uh, the biggest problem I have with this top, and it's a very big problem, is that when I took it out of the box, my daughter visiting from New Zealand saw it and said, I want that. And she does have a birthday coming up. So she's taking this one. The other thing I did was I hiked this up a little bit. Uh, as I wear it, these straps are actually pulled back. They come down. It does come a little bit low on me. But I actually like this enough that if uh, my daughter didn't want it for herself, I would probably just have, the, uh, have it raised a little bit. It'd be a pretty simple tailoring repair just to raise those straps and the rest of it is great. But now the shorts, let me walk back a little bit. Uh, I like the color. Um, I did ask for some colored either shorts or jeans. I think I asked for, I can't remember. It was in my head to ask for it. I don't know if I actually wrote that down. Um, they're cute, they're summery. The length is perfect there. I don't know if you can see, let me move this down a little bit. You can see they're, they're I like that little cuff on there. Um, a lot to like about that, but there's a problem. Oh, I don't know if I really want to show you the problem. All right. The way they fit in here, I don't know how well you can see on camera. The fit isn't good. I forgot to put this on. This is that little necklace. Now, I have almost no jewelry. I'm not, oops, not much of a jewelry wearer. Um, but I really like this. Oh, I did my fingernails since yesterday. Yesterday's beginning of this video kind of coordinates. I like this. And I have nothing like that. So I suspect I'm going to keep this. It's really pretty. It looks kind of like leaves on a tree, which I like. So um, I'm a fan of this. And the little chain that was coming down here, it's got an extender, so I can wear it. I can wear it a little lower. I can wear it a little higher. But, um, and it's also comfortable to wear. Very often things around my neck aren't comfortable for me. And um, I like this. So I think this is definitely a keeper. Okay, here is that yellow top. The fit at first doesn't look bad. It's a large petite, which means the length is good. Okay, length is great. Um, fit in the shoulders is great. Unfortunately, these sleeves are, I mean sleeves, I keep saying sleeve, I mean armholes are huge and they, 
they're funny. Um, the way they fit and the way they pull, this side's better than the other side, so the other side's not getting a lot of camera time. But um, these armholes rule this out. The material also, it's a very uh, thin, semi-sheer gauze, kind of that gauzy polyester that's not real comfortable. Um, it's thin, but in the hot weather, it's not that cool. And the material's not that flattering. The color's kind of cute. Mary says this color's not good on me. I kind of like it. Um, so I think this is going to be returned. I don't know. It's, uh, it's not great. Now, I will step back and show you this. Of all the colors and patterns I've gotten from Stitch Fix, I've gotten a lot of things I love. Well, almost all the colors and patterns. That infinity scarf I got with the gold and the paisley on it is absolutely my favorite color and pattern of anything I've gotten. But let's call this my second favorite. This is my favorite top color and pattern. Um, I love this shade of green. I think it's very complimentary on me. I love polka dots. I really like the sleeves that are sort of, it's enough sleeve that it, you know, covers everything. Um, it doesn't just stick out like some of these little sleevelets sort of stick out and you look like, I don't know, they look like they want to be shoulder pads when they grow up or something, you know, from Dynasty in the 1980s. But this doesn't. It flows nicely. Do I have a problem with it? Yes. And I am really on the fence about keeping this because I like the color so much. Tell me a couple of things. One, take a look at it and see if there's anything that stands out not quite right to you before I tell you what I think. Um, okay, let's just do that. Uh, is this too big? This is not a large petite, which would make a world of difference. The Collective Concepts blue blouse I kept out of the last fix, the fit was perfect. It was a large petite. It was absolutely perfect. This is a regular large. Um, the way it folds in the front from the bust looks a little maternity topish to me. Is that a deal breaker? I don't know. Also, it sort of falls around my bust kind of funny um, and it might just be there's a lot of room in this now the other thing too is actually it's not too bad with this undergarment I was wearing a different one before and it showed through but it's not showing through here so that's a big plus I don't have my bra strap showing through um, the, the way it falls here and the, the way it's sort of maternity top is here are the one things that are making me consider returning. Okay. I put my warm shirt back on because it's so cold in here for wrap up. Um, oh, it is so late at night. I am so tired. Uh, I just wanted to give you the, uh, I have my invoice here. The price for this box was really good. Um, the necklace, the Bay to Baubles, it's called Sia Bauble Collar Necklace. I would come up with a different name for that one. Anyway, that's $34. The Paper Moon Tay Keyhole Neckline Blouse was the yellow one. That was $38. I would say the material that's made of, it's more worth $20 at the most. That was not an impressive top. Cute little design and a great fit as far as just the cut on me. But overall, the blouse, yeah. Um, the Liverpool Braden Denim Short was $58. The blouse, that light green spotted blouse that I'm on the fence about, that is the Q&A Bessie Smocking Detail Blouse. That is $54. And then the top that my daughter from New Zealand is keeping, and I'm going to try to splice a picture of her wearing that if she lets me in. And if I succeeded, you may have already seen it. I'm not sure, or I'll put it on the end. It fits her real well. Um, and if she doesn't let me do it, then you won't see it. But it fits her real well. 
Uh, the Paper Moon Sheba Swing Knit Top, very nice, is $44. Now, if I bought all five, I would get a 25% discount, which would be a $57 discount, pretty substantial. Uh, I have a styling fee credit of $20, and that means all five items in this box will come to $151, which is a very good price for five items if I chose to keep all five. I probably am not, in fact, I know I'm not going to keep all five because I'm not keeping the yellow top. And I'm probably not keeping the shorts because when I looked on camera at what they looked like on me, I said, you know, again, with a long top, they looked fine, but uh, not $58 worth fine. It just didn't fit right, except in the thighs and legs. So I think they're going back too. So uh, the swing top staying, the necklace is probably staying, and you got to let me know what you think about that green polka dot blouse. So anyway, let me know what you think, and I will see you soon with uh, another unboxing. Uh, how soon? I'm not sure, but pretty soon. And uh, hopefully it'll warm up. We'll get some nicer weather. Maybe it's already warm where you are. Maybe you're in Southern California and it's gorgeous. But um, see you soon. Bye-bye.